hips are not, it's what matter. It's position the elbow. Now if I can keep, remember I'm starting, sorry mate, remember I'm starting from here. I'm not starting here. I'm not past my guard. I'm starting here, he's got nothing to run go. But this it's my movement that does it. It's my movement. Does that make sense? Yeah? I'm not going to do this, Dave might grab my legs and it's past my guard. It's something, I don't want that. I stay away from you. I'll grab this. Now's my move. It's not deep enough, is it? First position. Now look, if everything stabilizes here and I keep his head down, I go, remember that this is blocked. This here, my elbow. Now look, if everything stays here and I want stability here, I'm pulling that hard because this man's going to want me to go on to lift his head up. And I'm pulling him down so strongly, it's very difficult to do. So I've got two levers pulling down this side of his body. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the first song of the turnover. The turnover is going to be done with my right foot steering the lift. This is important because this will change depending on what it does. So I'll release this for this. So I've released his neck. I've released the pull of his neck to pull his head down. For the armpit to pull him in to keep his head down. That makes sense? Look how I'm cupping here. Not all the way through. No, just cupping. Now watch the position of my feet. I have to go under him before I sit back. I don't do this. No. I'll pull my bum. He might move an inch. That's enough watch. Under him. Now watch how he's on me now as I go back. The turn is this one. But as I turn him over, this one will clear. Watch. This one will clear. I have to do it quicker. It's not going to go. Right. I'll do it fast so you can see. I'll do it fast so you can see. So I'll pull him. So that's what happened, into the hip. So I've got his hip there, I've got tapping sugar down, I've got the full now, with the right hand, you're around yeah. yeah. With my right hand raising here. So the hold is here, my feet together. So as Dave moves, I've got pressure on his chest, and you feel like yeah. It's a massive hold I've got already. It's going to be very hard for him to escape. So it's not just a turnover, it's not just a swing. I'm sweeping him into a position where he's very vulnerable already. I'm not going to deal with his guard at all. And even if he does perform some action with his legs to make a half guard, I'm already holding grips to pass it. So the half guard is in my favour, not his. That makes sense? Yeah? So I've done this, and I pull him in, and I'm keeping these grips tight. So I'll swap this for this. I'll hutch back under him to put his hips right over mine so I can lift him up. I'll try and do this slower so I can lift him up. So now as I turn him with this foot, the bottom one will come out and this one will hit the hip hook. And I heel. Bang! Lift. Don't let go of anything. Walk this slightly up. Then push your chest forward. The pressure on it's heavy now. And all in here. So his escapes are high. Okay, yeah. 